Hi guys, at the first I have special thanks for Mr. KP to give me that chance. Today I want to talk about Great Expectation Episode 6 following a new path. After Mr. Jaggers gave Pip the message, he starts his new life in London. He planned to go by coach. When Pip arrived in London, he saw that the city huge and dirty and full of people. And because Pip usually lived in village, he had never seen anything like it before. Then he went to Mr. Jagger's office, which was not far from the place where the coach to London had stopped. It was early afternoon where Pip found uh, Mr. Jagger's office and an open door. He walked in and saw a man sitting behind a desk. And Pip asked, Is Mr. Jagger's here? And the man replied, You are Mr. Pip, aren't you? Mr. Jagger's is out but he will be back soon and the man offered Pip to take a seat until Ms. Jaggers returned his office after a while of waiting Ms. Jaggers reached and said Mr. Pip you will stay at Bernard's Inn with Mr. Herbert Pocket Herbert was Mr. Matto Pocket's son then Ms. Jaggers gave Pip some money to spend during his first few months in London Pip thought it's a lot money but Ms. Jaggers said I will be watching the way you spend the money. But of course, you will get into debt sooner or later. And Mr. Jaggers knows that he was a common boy and he did not know about spending money, especially in London. Then Mr. Jaggers gave, uh, sent Pip to Barnard's Inn to stay with Mr. Herbert Pocket. Uh, Pip's new home was small and old and looked empty and was not the sort of thing Pip had expected. Pip Open the front door and walk to the top of the stairs. Then Pip found another door with the name uh, Mr. Herbert Pocket on it. But no one was at home. A few minutes after Pip had got there, a young man with a friendly face appeared on the stairs. He was carrying some paper bags. Then uh, the man asked, Your name is Mr. Pip, aren't you? Isn't it? Sorry, isn't it? I've just been to the market. Uh, you haven't been waiting for long, have you? But Pip's mouth fell open in surprise, and he recognized him. It was the boy Pip had fought with few years ago at Mr. Shams house. But he said, I, "My father says you will be living me uh, with uh, living with me for a few." He had suddenly stopped talking, and he recognized Pip, and said, "You are the boy I have fought with." At Mr. Havisham house, and Pip said, and you are the boy in the great suit. Herbert put the paper bags down and they both started to laugh. After they remembered at each other's, they talked about the day and especially Mr. Havisham and Stella. And Herbert said, said Mr. Havisham had asked me to visit her. I didn't mind going. I thought she might make me rich, but she didn't. And I thought, she want me to marry Estella. Uh, you met Estella, did you? And Pip said, who is Estella? Why does she live with, with Mr. Avisha? And the only reason Pip asked about Estella because he want to know about Estella more than ever. And Herbert said, uh, it's all a bit complicated. Estella isn't related to Mr. Avisha. She's adopted. She's a horrible young woman. Mr. Avisha hates men. As a result, she has taught Estella to do the same. And Ms. Savisham is my father's cousin. When Ms. Savisham's father died, she and her brother became a very rich and remained a lot of money. But her father spent all of his money and therefore got into debt. He lived a bad life and had friends who were not a gentleman. Ms. Savisham fell in love with one of his friends and they soon made the decision to get married. My father against the marriage, but Mr. Havisham did not listen. At that moment, Pip asked quickly, but they did get married, did they? And Herbert replied, no, on the morning of their wedding day, the man sent Mr. Havisham a letter which simply said he could not marry her, then he disappeared. And it was clear to us why Mr. Havisham hates men since that day, he thought uh, all of the men around her a mutinia. Thank you for listening.